Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily use Microsoft Excel's Goal Seek feature. And what we'll use as an example is a loan payment. So what I have as an example spreadsheet here is I have a loan payment computation. I have a purchase price, a down payment, which right now is zero, and then how much I'm going to borrow, the interest rate, and the loan length. And you can see that I've used the payment calculation. Um, I do have some videos to show you how to use this particular function if you're curious about that. So in this case, we'll assume that I have a payment goal or 2500 is all I can afford. So I want to know how much I have to put down on this house in order to have my payment be 2500 Well, we find the Goal Seek tool in the Data tab. So if we go to the Data tab and we choose What If Analysis, we can then choose Goal Seek right from there. Now, Goal Seek says, OK, um, one of the drawbacks of the Goal Seek is it doesn't allow you to use variable or cell references very, very much within it. You can just simply set a cell uh, with, with a cell reference, but you can't actually use a value in a cell reference. So I have to actually type in the value. So what I want to do is I want to set cell B9, which is the loan payment, to $2,500. So I type in 2500 and then what cell do I want to change? Well, I want to change the down payment. So again, I'm setting cell B9 or the loan payment to $2,500 by changing the down payment. How much do I have to put down? So I go ahead and click OK. And Excel does the computations for me here. And there's my solution. In order to have a payment of exactly $2,500, I have to put down $37,455. That's really how easy it is to use the Goal Seek. Now, let's assume in this case that I only have $30,000 down. But once again, I have to keep, whoops, how about $30,000? <clears> I only have a goal of $2,500 for my payment. So in this case, let's assume that maybe I can shop around and maybe get a slightly better interest rate. So we're going to try this one more time. This time I want to see what interest rate I need to get in order to have my payment be $2,500 or less. So I go back to the what if analysis here. I choose Goal Seek. I still want to set cell B9 to $2,500. Notice it didn't even remember what I used last time. It's not a perfect um, tool, but, but it's a pretty good tool by setting cell, in this case, the interest rate. So I'll click OK, and I click OK again. So if I can get an interest rate of 5.93%, I can again get my loan payment to be $2,500. Well, there you see how easy it is to use the Goal Seek feature. Um, I have example files that you can download and set step-by-step -step instructions on my website, luthermaddy.com. And if you find these videos helpful, please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much and we'll see you again in the next video.